Hey Capricorn, how are you doing? This reading is for Capricorn for the week of July 29th to August the 4th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Capricorn, if you're new to my channel, I'm a Capricorn moon. I also have three placements of Capricorn in my chart. So I get you guys. I feel you guys. I'm here for you guys. This is a safe place to be. So chill out, relax, and enjoy the reading. And Capricorn, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Just click the link to the website and check out the options. What is going on for the fabulous and most amazing Capricorns? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? When I was going to say like Capricorn, I wanted to say Aquarius. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or you're taking some kind of innovative risk. Present time, justice, major arcana for Libra. What's coming towards you? The Eight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. What you were focused on? Oh my goodness, I love this Capricorn. The Ace of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Let me just move all these cards down. In your blocked and challenged position is the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And your outcome is the Two of Wands, making some plans. Okay, Capricorn, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Present time and Underneath the deck, you have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is communication coming in out of left field. There could be something about a contract, a commitment, a relationship, documentations, and paperwork. But this is blunt and fast, kind of like hasty communication or pushy. So pushy or forceful in some kind of situation. There can be a somebody who's trying to push or force some kind of contract or getting in or getting out of some kind of situation. This can also be stay on task and laser focus. Keep your eye on the prize. Because the justice card speaks of karma. Karmic dues being owed to you and what is fair. This is also equilibrium. Sharing and caring. Speaking your truth, truth here. Or there's a divide in some kind of contract. Because in your blocked and challenged position is the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is King Pen. But it could be like a work situation. Let's see what this uh, Justice card is about. Yeah, for some of you, you must have Aquarius in your chart. Or, you know, you might be dealing with an Aquarium. And the Magician. Major Arcana for Virgo Gemini. Simplifying and neutralizing things in your life. This is the card of alchemizing. So this could be some kind of news or communication coming in out of left field. Or there is something about making a quick decision. I would just watch, make sure everything checks out. Don't rush through the paperwork because you have all the tools, all the elements to manifest whatever the frick you want. But there could be something about manifesting some kind of partnership here. And there is unconditional love, peace, harmony. The magician can also be taking back power and control in your own hands, in your own life. And as above, so below. So some kind of manifestation. And here, there's good karma. Page of Pentacles, news. Learnt lessons. Let's see what this Eight of Cups is. Eight of Cups is emotionally detaching from a person, place, or a situation and in pursuit of this ninth cup. And here, it's like such a luscious, beautiful Ace of Cups. So... Walking towards something even better, like a better contract, a better situation. There's this bugging me. Get that out of the way. And the King of Cups. Wow. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You could be walking towards love. And it's faded and destined for you here. 
You could be walking away from a situation that you loved between you and this person and not gender specific here. So Capricorn, you could be the one with the finances or in your blocked and challenged position, there's finances tied up. Eight of Swords, self-imposed prison, or feeling stuck in some kind of commitment or contract. King of Cups can be somebody who is kind, caring, compassionate. Can also be about um, a physician, a doctor, like a natural path, a healer. The healing touch. But it feels very gentle or it's your intuition that's like strongly pulling you to something new, fresh. Eight of Swords and Judgment, surrender. Surrender to what is good for you and to, good to you. But for some of you, you're emotionally detaching here and um, maintaining your emotional independence. Yeah, because the Ace of Cups is like walking towards this ninth cup, like wish fulfillment. Or somebody sees you as a wish fulfillment here, wanting to partner with you. This card wants to come out. I'm not going to take it. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Expect the unexpected. Something faded and destined for you on your path. Like luck being on your side. Something lucky is going in your favor. And the Page of Cups. Yeah, surprise, surprise. A gift, an apology. A warm welcome. Page of Cups is like somebody who admires you or feels inspired by you. And for some of you, this could be like new fresh energy. Letting your imagination run wild. Letting your inner child out to play. And this is where you find the most peace. Being playful, being light, going easy. You could also find out um, that someone close to you that you love either has or is going to have a baby. This can also be you getting a new fur baby. And you want to go and pick up your fur baby here like rushing, <laughs> rushing um, paperwork. Wow, that's really beautiful energy. Five of Cups, cut, cut your losses, the Empress. There could be something to do with commitment where there's children involved. Like custody things happening here. Because there is an Empress here and then the Five of Wands. See how there's conflict on both sides? Somebody might have anger issues. Let's see what this King of Pentacles is in your blocked and challenged position. You know, King of Pentacles is generosity, kind, caring, something about a commitment or finances being tied up. Or if you've been in a place possibly for too long, because this could be like rigid and stagnant energy, like Taurus energy here. But here, this like walking towards something so beautiful here and here making plans and for some of you you want to get away from some kind of situation that you did have love for but there's something a different focus for you here there can also be a, like um doesn't have to be a younger water sign it's just somebody who is like you know admires you or looks up to you here capricorn and the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. And the Page of Pentacles is about learnt lessons and teacher and student. So there could be something about you being a teacher. And this Page of Pentacles, this is like novice or naivety. Or there's something not fair here. 
you could have been in a contract for a very long time because I feel like you could have been the page, like you started this in investment or development and it did grow into the King of Pentacles. And for some of you, this is just about children being involved or needing to dig up the dirt here. There's um, more that you need to find out. So study and research. Some of you like uh, like research, study, science. Something about science. Like this is like a businessman, businesswoman, entrepreneur. I don't know if this was a fair transaction. I feel like somebody got the short end of the stick out of whatever this commitment was. Like maybe you were very generous and then you got breadcrumbs. This is also longing for commitment. It's coming. So don't long for it. Just just be excited and you'll be pleasantly like surprised. There can also be somebody who's longing for you. Like wanting to work with you. Two of Wands is about making a plan. But you having a strong confident backbone here Capricorn. And here let go of one wand. See how this person is like super focused. Look at you have something in mind here. Or someone is coming towards you. Because usually on the two of wands there's a globe. Like a little world. So you have the key inside of you to be extremely successful and the world in the palms of your hand. Or somebody sees you like as their world. Like there there could be somebody who's trying to manifest you. Because this is like how can we bring this together. But somebody's being cheap here. Because this is about a new area of study. So a needing an outlet here, Capricorn. Someone needs an outlet. So if you find yourself stagnating, it's a need for you to like go to nature, try a new diet plan, um, you know, anything like that. Take piano lessons. Because it gets you out of the funk, but you're going to walk right into this King of Cups. And the Queen of Wands. Spicy. Maintain your independence. But see how this is glam? Like Queen of Wands don't give a flying flip-flop to the flip of what anyone thinks of he or she. They just do what they want. This is about asserting oneself, being bold, being brave, taking action, solar plexus, high vibrational energy. This is passion, desire, creativity, enthusiasm. And motivating and inspiring. There's also through children, someone, something in, inspires you. Moon. This is the uncertainty or to trust your intuition. You could also have had some kind of dream about the situation. Pay attention to your dreams. Get more rest. Or secret. Yeah. Hidden secret. Hidden secret admirer. Hidden secret admirer. But wow. This is like super duper excitement. Like someone. Like see how this person. Look at Capricorn. Look at this person's eyes. Like so imagine that person like <laughs> staring at this person. Like I can't you know. Like, they can't take their eyes off you. Like, this is, like, glow-up energy. Super-duper attractive energy here. Grieving. 
So again, somebody longing or grieving, but there's a butterfly. Or if you need to detach from some kind of commitment, what did you learn in this situation? And then here, start small. Or you're going to be pleasantly surprised that somebody else has feelings for you. And dang, you know, that queen of wands. Could be a fire sign. Could be an Aries here. Financial health. Yeah, there's health improvements here with your finances. Yeah, you could be a little bit stingy here, Capricorn. I, I, I don't think you know or realize how much um, abundance you do have or uh, what you're sitting on. Home. This could be over a home or a house, or this feels like home. Somebody could be coming home, like I'm coming home. What's that song? I'm coming home, I'm coming home, tell the world I'm coming home. Let the rain wash away all the pain of yesterday. Yeah, making plans. And here, this person's on a boat. So by water life purpose I feel like some of you I got goosebumps some of you financial health there's an improvement but you've been through some kind of um really hard time here Capricorn I'm not dismissing it at all love love is the most highest frequency out of all kind of energies And start small. Get to know this person. Protection. Protection. That kind of feels like Mother Gaia. You are going to stumble upon your life's purpose. Or through some kind of really difficult time or situation. You've discovered either something about yourself or your, your life's journey because this is mirroring something is being mirrored back to you wow and some of you are just glowing holy smokes you look good capricorn or someone sees you like someone's like can't take their eyes off you or just something about like um yeah secret admirer or secret um, working on something. You're doing something in secret, but you feel blocked from it, but you're not. I feel like you just need to journey out or um, more research needs to be done on it. Pig, beware of greed. So again, just pointing out, because you have the King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, um, somebody has much less here and somebody has a, a um, you know, very selfish and greedy. But you could be putting in a grievance. And I picked this up in Aquarius's reading, which is so interesting, and in Scorpio's. So putting in some kind of grievance. Or there is like somebody has been quite selfish, like a selfish greedy pig and... You know, taking or eating their cake and eat, um, what is that? Having their cake and eating it too. Spread the wealth. Harp, great happiness. Mountain, or mountain, major challenge to overcome. Yeah, some of you had health things going on. Or there was some kind of grieving of a person or longing for a connection. But you're going to get it and you're going to like stumble upon your life's purpose at the same time. Or you're working on some kind of contract secretly and partnering up with um, a fire sign possibly. Dog. Protection from a powerful friend. 
Yeah, and that's why I was saying, like, this King of Cups could be quite loyal to you. Because it feels like you're going towards this King of Cups. Like, see how you are the camel persevering through the desert? Something has dried up somewhere. Where something was once very fertile, possibly. But, and then look at all the water that's coming through. And then all the spice chain of events that will affect your life and protection from a powerful friend this could be a companion like a um a therapeutic dog or you know dogs are very therapeutic so going for nice brisk walks and all of a sudden you're gonna meet somebody tower solid foundation success with effort rooster an arrogant boastful person you should not cross beware of greed yeah, beware of this. Um, somebody wants a bigger piece of your pie here, Capricorn. And I just, when that pushy or forceful person flag, do not be tempted to lower your standard. Yeah, assert yourself here. Because I do feel like that there could be somebody who thinks they're outsmarting you in a situation. I just want to go back to this. Somebody is trying to see how this person's rushing in like pushing or forcing you to do something or handle something so just watch the arrogance or the boastfulness um greedy selfish pig person here what is this nine of cups yes and nine of cups can be yes um wishes granted wish fulfillment a dream come true but this can also be somebody who is an overindulger. This person could be very smug, self-centered, self-righteous. Entitled. Somebody feels entitled to your wealth. They're not. But again, you know, we could take it both ways. So just watch. You might have more than enough. And um, this in something about an investment, like the WE project, you're you're headed right towards it. This looks unreal whatever this is it's like longing or wanting to go back to how it was but there's something about a person having their cake and eating it too or there's just like indulgence or somebody who um spends a lot of money very materialistic materialism matters to this person more than happiness but here you're in pursuit of the happiness and holy smokes somebody's got their eye on you it could be a work situation it doesn't have to be love but for some of you you're going to be super duper surprised that you're going to stumble across your life's purpose through a child or when you let your inner child out to play you're like when was the last time i ever skipped down the road well i'm going to learn that leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.